Hey guys, today's video is about information gain. We will go through a complete example. Please check out the video of information gain 1 if you haven't, since we introduced the foundation of information gain in that video. To recap, we've talked about information gain is a criterion to select attribute to split on, and entropy is the expected information required to classify a tuple. The formula of entropy is the negative sum of pi times log base 2 of pi. Here, the entropy is calculated on the whole database. However, to calculate the information gain of individual attribute, we need to know the information required to separate the classes after splitting on attribute A. In other words, we need to know the entropy of individual attribute. The formula goes like this. For attribute A, the entropy is the summation of the length of dj divided by the length of d times the entropy of dj. To illustrate, A is the individual attribute, and basically, we have to do the same calculation for each attribute in this database, except for the target attribute. Then, the v here is the number of classes in attribute A. If A contains two values, yes and no, then v is 2. Next, this dj divided by d is just the number of data in class j divided by the total number of data points. Next, the info dj is the entropy of class j. The best way to understand the formula is to look at an example. See, we have this database with 5 data points. The attribute a is whether a person is a student or not. The target attribute is whether a person buys a computer. Therefore, attribute A has two classes, so V in the formula is two, but we will deal with one class at a time. We start with the class yes. If you look at the attribute student, you can see three people are students, two of them buy a computer, one of them doesn't. In fact, we can calculate the first part of formula by knowing that three people are students. Since dj over d is just the number of data in class yes, divided by total number of data points. As a result, the first part of formula is 3 over 5. The second part of formula is the entropy of class dj, which is yes. When it comes to entropy, it always links to the target attribute. Similar to how we calculate the entropy for the whole database, we now look at the subset of the target attribute. That is, we only look at three data points and calculate its entropy, which is 0 0.918. Now, we have everything we need for class yes. We just take the product of 3 over 5 and 0 0.918. Then we get a number for yes is 0 0.5508. Next, we deal with the class no. We observe two people are not students. One of them buys a computer, another doesn't. Again, the first part of formula is just the proportion of people that are not students, which is 2 over 5. Then, the entropy for class no is 1, because this class doesn't provide any information regarding the target attribute. Therefore, the number for no is 2 over 5 times 1, which is 0 0.4. Although the calculation is annoying, we now have everything we need to calculate the entropy of attribute student. In fact, we just have to sum up the number for each class. So the entropy for student is 0 0.5508 plus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.9508. However, this is still not information gain, but we are getting close. The entropy for attribute student is 0 0.9508 and the entropy for the database is 0 0.9709. I put the calculation process here for reference, but I hope it's now straightforward to you. We've talked about entropy a lot, but entropy is just the expected information required to classify a tuple in database. Consequently, the information gained by splitting on attribute A is the entropy of database minus the entropy of individual attribute. The concept is actually intuitive because the information you get is the reduction of the amount of information required 
after splitting on an attribute. Thus, the information gain of attribute student is 0 0.9709 minus 0 0.9508, which is 0 0.0201. That's how we calculate the information gain manually, but I want to go through the whole process again. To get the information gain, the first step is to calculate the entropy of database, where we only need to use target attribute. The second step is to calculate the entropy of individual attribute. Here we need both the attribute A and the target attribute, and A cannot be the target attribute. Then, we just deduct the entropy for A from the entropy for the whole database, and we get the information gain for attribute A. Last, we repeat the process for each attribute in the database, and we select the one with highest information gain to split on. After all, the goal of information gain is to help us prioritize the attribute to split on. One thing to note is that information gain favors attributes with many classes. This problem can be serious when some attributes have more classes than the other, so you should pay extra attention to this issue when using information gain. Alright, that's the idea of information gain. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you understand the concept we talked about today.